Jeff is sitting there picking me. But anyways, we're currently in Kochi Kela. The crew. Um, I think we're going to what they call them like puzzle apps to put in the um, I think we're going straight to Aleppi. So we're really not gonna have time to check out Kochi very much, but it's totally fine. Aleppi is where the beach is at, so that should be great as well. Um we're gonna be staying at this Airbnb. It was like ten dollars you guys, so hopefully like I think a lot of people stay there. It's like a I don't know how to describe it. I guess I'll show you guys. It's almost like a hostel where like I don't I'm not really sure, but we're sharing I think one or two rooms. I don't know. But um yeah, this is what I packed. You guys already saw it. This bag and my backpack because I could have fit everything into like this bag, but it would have been heavier and it already feels super heavy right now. Okay, and it will be an exact address. We can call it for yes. They played us. They played us, you guys. Okay. Because the guys. All right. So we don't know if they're really playing. If I, if so, you know, I feel like I'm gonna have you talk to the driver. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, I'll call it over. So can you send me the address to the airport? Okay. So basically, the place Thank back there. Nice. It's a okay. cab service. They're trying to charge us twenty seven hundred, but it, he said it should be around two thousand. So and he said Kochi and took his house between fifteen hundred and two thousand. Call it and he'll talk to him on the phone, give him the exact address and tell him like how to much Alright, phase two you guys. We are currently trying to get on this bus. Yeah. For 50 to 60 rupees each. It's way more affordable. However, we're not sure if there's a bus that goes directly to the Airbnb we're staying at. So that is the question that needs answers. Because Aleppi is two hours away from Kochin. Yeah. And we got, you know. Our translator right here, go ahead, Sonali. Alright, hi you guys. So we decided on going with the bus. The bus is going to take us to this one place. And that place is um an hour away. And then once we get there, it should be 40 to 45 minutes to the hostel we're staying at. So, that is the goal. Okay, guys, we're eating. Go hand me something. What are you eating? I'm saying in yellow. Ooh. So, yeah, looks like a giant idea. we just got off the bus, the um, person, the person didn't tell us like when we were supposed to get off the bus, so we kind of got off a little, little late, but it's okay because they checked the right time. So, that's the perfect bite, a little angle. So, uh, we're just eating right now and then we're going to get in a rickshaw or hopefully an Uber and be on our way to the hospital. Okay, so you guys, we just made it. Um, to our um, place, but I wanted to show you this water because it's beautiful. Everybody else is there, but I have to give you guys the first look. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all get the first real deal holy feel. Let's look. There's my partner in crime for India. There's the desk. There's the curtains. Yeah, let's see. And I mean, yeah, we don't really have a technical shower. These are. This is very common though to have like this space and then that be the shower area. But we're only being. We're only here for one night, y'all. So it's not that a problem. And it's clean. It looks very clean. And mind you, you guys, we are spending 10 USD to stay here for one night. God is good, this is gorgeous. See you at the beach. All right, you guys. Angel back there. Daniela right here. This is like a secret wonder, like this place is perfect. It's just, just what we needed. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. Okay, hey you guys, so 
so we are still on the beach an update i feel like this is like our spring break because you know we don't get spring break in um india so this is a nice little beachy vibe it's really really nice there's barely any tourists here it's like so free and so cool like i feel as though I feel as though um, we're like in paradise, like not a lot of people know about it. I don't know, it's just nice. It's nice to be somewhere where it's not packed. Especially like such a nice beach like this. So you guys want to see Sonali? I buried her. Hey guys. In the sand. It's super lit. First time doing something like this too. Is it comfortable, Sonali? It's really comfortable. I've got like a backrest and everything. Oh my gosh, it's nice. Is it warm too? It's really warm. Um, it's like a perfect view because I've got like the ocean right there. Yeah, look at how beautiful. Yeah. See, so yeah, that's what's happening right here. Um. Uh, yeah. I took some pictures. Don't know if I'm gonna post all of them. Okay, but we shall see. Um. If you have, if you're not already, follow me on Instagram. It's at Nisi N E C E E underscore e so e c -E underscore e follow me yeah um i don't know what we're gonna eat tonight but there's like this place across like right across from where we're staying so i think we should go there um so i know okay so there's a lot of um boats on this beach on this beach and so we were taking pictures with one and at first like i think the guy wanted us to come and then when we didn't, oh my gosh, people are sailing, so pretty. And it, when we um, decided not to, then uh, he told us to leave because we were taking pictures with his boat. And we are in the streets again. Look at the sun. Oh, gorgeous. They're still swimming. We were there for a while, so we stopped swimming. Um, I think they're almost done. We're gonna go to this cafe, like that's right down the street, like literally right down the street from our hostel. So this is what it looks like, guys. Is it made with what? Bottled water. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this is gorgeous. Like literally, we're we're eating, and the place is on the beach, and the place it's. Decent. We're living like Caucasians. All we need is wine. Don't play. I would get a beer so fucking quick. I'm coming in for breakfast every morning. <laughs> yeah. I have a spinach mushroom and cheese omelet. <gasps> so I and love banana honey pancakes. Baby. Okay, let me, let me, let me. I'll talk to you guys after this, okay? You guys, it reminds me of my friend Atal. This is a cheese and spinach omelet, you guys, and it's big. I was scared it was going to be small. But it's decent. She made me buy my own instead of sharing with me, even though we're getting we were gonna get three things. She's like, no, nah, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to. I was like, I can't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> I was listen, y'all, I'm hungry. I'm like really hungry. I realized how hungry I was after I took a shower. I was like, let's eat these gotta eat. Hoping that booty out makes a girl hungry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Everyone else is like taking a shower like it's It's like down the street. So people are like down taking a shower across, across, the street. across the street. Sorry. People are like taking a shower and then they're just gonna walk over. So. Day two. Alright, hey you guys. So it is the next day. Um they're going canoeing. Think about what? I'm I don't know what I'm gonna do. But not canoe. <laughs> so um Like odd, but uh, we're walking, and yeah, I'll let you guys know more later on. But this is day two, we're actually leaving for Munafar, I think. Um, tonight, well, not tonight, but like in the evening, so around five, I think. So, yeah, that is what's happening.
<laughs> Two hours later. You guys. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is us. So <laughs> We've been here for forever. It's so sad. Like, the bus hasn't... Like, not the bus. I keep calling the bus. The boat? Okay, so we're supposed to take the government bus because the other girls are going to take the canoeing bus canoeing boat right i said bus again anyways so we've been waiting here since like 10 o'clock and it's almost and it's 11 05 right now and we've missed well i feel like we've missed two boats one of them won't fuck oops, sorry one of them will not turn around and it's making me so so upset i got so much dark i can tell it's making me so upset because it doesn't make any sense whatsoever and so we've been waiting here so we're gonna probably do another 30 minutes if it doesn't arrive and i don't know what I don't know what's gonna happen because our whole thing is we're waiting at this dock to get on the government boat which will cost like 20 rupees each 20 to 30 rupees then we're gonna get to city center when we get to city center we're gonna get a, um, a auto a rickshaw and then we're going to um, go back to our hostel and so we're nowhere near is that the government? I wish some of these boats would stop me like y'all wanna ride y'all so it didn't work out <laughs> basically there was a huge misunderstanding so he was like saying he was pointing to like like a cover like this and he was saying like when you reach to the next dock the boat should get there right and you should just get on but what he was really saying was that we should walk straight to this specific dock but he didn't really say that and so we went to like the first dock we saw and the boat never came not for the direction that we're supposed to go in so then we were waiting there forever and now like i'm hot i'm sweaty i want something to drink um we can't find the coconut lady we cannot find the coconut lady where the coconuts our lives are just like really kind of fucked eventually of a mountainous area and they have a lot of different cool things there so besides so that the drive is going to be four hours we've established we have a driver so we're going to do that it should be fun this is fried this is egg fried rice you guys basic but i'm gonna stay healthy all right what we do here is go back 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 You guys, this is our room, so don't mind the bottles, but this is the bed right here. It's going to be three of us in one bed, and it's just perfect. The curtains are like this. Chairs. The ceilings are wooden. That's really fancy, actually. The more I think about it, there's a bug right there. Right there. And then, I guess they have a towel rack. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't know how to categorize that. But look at me. Hey. All right. And that's the room for the most part. This is what the bathroom looks like. Oh, look at the little floor. I never noticed that. So you walk in. See me again. 
and then you turn, that's the shower, you guys, I think this is how it is for most, like, new places, the bucket is just in case you can find a bucket, fill it up with water, and then you pour the water on top of yourself, it's very common in India, and then of course the toilet, it's very clean, and I love the tile pattern, it's very cute, and wooden um, ceilings as well. Day three. Guys, welcome. It is a brand new day. I woke up to this lovely, gorgeous view. It's so, so pretty, you guys. Like, I'm going to show you in a second, but you can literally see the mountains. You can see everything, and it is so, so beautiful. So, we're currently in Munar, and we're going to go on, like, this tour. We're going to rent, um... I guess a car, a driver for like the whole day. It's gonna cost around 3,000 rupees. Um, USD 2,000 is around 30. So I think um, it should be around 45, 50 USD. Um, so the place we're staying at is like this really nice, I don't know, hostel, I guess. Um, Hannah, it's her birthday weekend. And so she really wanted to stay at this specific hostel. But it's really nice, the people are really nice. It's ran by a couple. A husband and a wife so it's really really pretty and so far the view is gorgeous last night we weren't able to see everything but we could kind of see the outline of the mountains and it was so nice so i'm excited to see what it looks like during the daytime so i'm going to show you guys the view really quickly and it's currently around we're leaving at night so it's probably like nine a little after nine right now um yeah i had to do my hair really quickly there's still a lot of sand in it from the beach last yesterday so but we're doing well um i was able to braid it today so make okay it guys this is our ride for today we're in a jeep <laughs> say hi birthday girl this is the neighborhood <laughs> You guys, so we just stopped. Say hi, Angel. Hi. Partner in crime, camera in crime. <laughs> View. Gosh, the iPhone is picking it up so well, you guys. Like, oh, this is beautiful. If you haven't already, follow me on Instagram because I'm about to drop some really great pictures. Okay, it's at Nisi N E C E E underscore E. I'm telling you, these pictures are about to be crazy. We're like walking through this plant. I'm not really sure what it is, but yeah we're just walking through this pathway it's really pretty i can't emphasize this enough this trip was great hannah you did an amazing job love it <laughs> Look at us! Yes, I'm the chief! <laughs> okay, we're gonna wait till we move. Nope. Oh hell no, I'm gonna sit down with you. Sorry. Get <laughs> <laughs> your sure West Coast out. Come on now. <laughs> Hey guys so we're we've currently stopped just for a second um we wish the elephants were here but apparently at night at 11 and 12 a.m at night p.m at night um there's a bunch of elephants that cross <sighs> my heart would be so warm if i saw them like i really wish i could only he said it only happens at 11 and 12 at night oh i know but you know we are in the area that an elephant Yay. has been in. I know. I, I've documented that. Yeah. That that part at least. Yeah, you guys. So exciting. Put that strap on. Nah, he's about to lurch. Come. No. How are okay. you? Yeah. Channel. 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 Oh, mother. No danger. Mother goes up. Guys, so we just saw a monkey, and we were all kind of scared because we didn't want to get any of our stuff snatched. So we like, oh, go. Chalo. Chalo. Chalo.
guys, so we're at the viewing station. Um, it costs 20 rupees for four orders, so keep that in mind. But we're overlooking, I guess this is the highest point of the mountain. I don't know, but it's like the highest we can go. Um, we're at the viewing station. I'm going to show you guys the view. You can see like the mist and everything. It's very pretty. Gorgeous. Thanks. Okay, look at my bird. This is my friend. Hey man, can you wait to me? Yes, I do. Has died elephants. How's he not? That's smell is very dangerous. <laughs> day four. Hi guys, so it is it is day two. Me and Munar, um, we leave today. We're leaving tonight. We've already got the car all packed up, and everything, and we're currently going to a waterfall and then a spice place. So that should be great. All packed up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, so we stopped for a photo break. But look at this view. It's beautiful. All right, I think we're about to leak head out. <laughs> but Wait, just Tina. wanted to uh, let you guys know what we're doing. We're on our way to see a waterfall. I don't know if I told you guys that. We're good. On our way to see a waterfall. So it's going to be super Thanks. lit. All right, hey, you guys. So we already saw the water fountain, and now we're... um. We're climbing. Don't know where to. Where are we going? Oh, you just call it a water fountain? Oh, waterfall! I thought it. Oh, we saw the waterfall. Sorry. Um, where are we going? We're going to vehicle. Oh, vehicle. Yes. Oh, we're going back now. Back, so, back. <laughs> but this is the view, you guys. I'm gonna turn around so you can see it, but it's very, very beautiful. There's a bunch of flowers over there. Um, it was nice. And it's so hot. Very, very hot. Okay. Alright, hey you guys. So I am currently at the airport waiting for my plane. Um, I'm headed back to Hyderabad. Back to school. Tomorrow's Monday. So same old, same old. Um, I wanted to reflect on my time here in Kerala and like what are the differences between um, Kerala and Hyderabad that I noticed. And for the most part, I noticed that like there's a lot of churches. Um, there's a lot of Christians in um, Kerala. Uh, the British, like, um, I think the oldest church was created in 1910 by the British, of course, because India was colonized by the British. And so um, it's like 270 years old, apparently. And we went there, and it was cool. They were having a whole sermon. So that was, that was cool. Um, another thing is the style of clothing. I think a lot of the times, uh, the Indians here in Kerala, they, uh, the guys, we don't wear as much, sorry my allergies you guys, we don't wear as much western clothes and it makes sense giving the weather and stuff like that, like it's always rainy and then it's hot as well. So like they wear the traditional clothes and I'll try to like put a like a video here but they like tie it differently which is not something that happens mostly in um, Hyderabad. So that's interesting. And then I think lastly the people are really nice, like they're very very nice. Like. Um, Wherever we go, people would say hi to us or just ask us how we are. Like, it was just nice. We were extremely nice. And even, like, on our way to, like, each stop when we took the bus, like, the bus driver literally walked us from point A to point B. And then one of the girls in the program left um, her wallet 
in the bus and thankfully he like looked through the bus and he was able to give it to us before we even left on the second bus going towards um, Aleppo. So it was great and it was so beautiful. Like I really don't regret coming to Kerala at all. It's gorgeous. It's so, so beautiful. I definitely recommend it. If I had to give it um, out of a 10, I would say it's a 10. I would definitely say it's a great, great, great place to come and visit if you're in India. Definitely endorse it. You should come, go um, and visit Aleppi and Munar. Aleppi for the beaches, Munar for like the, um, the scenic uh, mountains and greenery, just all this great stuff. So, with that being said, my name is Nisi E. Until next time, I will see you later. And if you haven't, don't forget to like and subscribe to this to my channel so you never miss a video. Bye you guys.